Now we're going to see how to do the installation of our components and how to use this Argo CD technology. I created a GitHub repository that explains these somewhat blueprint approaches and how to install all of the components in a Kubernetes cluster. So we're going to install Tecton and all the required uh, components and especially how to create all of these secrets that we will um, need and use later on. Um, so you can check that out. But of course, at first we need a Kubernetes environment. Um, in my case, I use a Kubernetes cluster with an Istio installation and I use um, a managed cluster uh, with the IBM cloud. So you could use any Kubernetes cluster or of course an OpenShift cluster. For OpenShift, it's even easier um, to install these Tecton uh, um, components. And uh, in this cluster that uh, comes with an Istio installation, I followed the steps to install Tecton and Argo. And if you have a, a look at this installation, then you will end up with, well, a similar approach like this one. So you uh, will see this Argo application. And this is the dashboard for our Argo CD technology that here I just uh, locally forwarded to my local host. Um, so of course you could uh, include a proper route or ingress or gateway uh, for that into your cluster. And here we can already see so-called Argo CD applications. So we have an application for all of the, well, things, all of the Kubernetes resources that we would like to apply against a cluster. And we can, um, as you can see here, define targets such as a Kubernetes cluster. So all of them here are just, well, internal, um, um, internally targeted at the very same Kubernetes cluster here and a namespace within that cluster. So for example, for our pipeline resources, and these are the Tecton resources, they're actually also applied via Argo. So all of that is stored in our GitOps config repository. They will apply them later on the tasks and the pipeline, which I will show you uh, a bit later. And of course, we also have applications for our production and our system test environment. So these are the Kubernetes um, resources for, well, the deployments, pods, services, and all of the Istio resources and everything that we have or that we need in order to run our actual application. So this exists, uh, exists for um, the testing and the production namespace. And with Argo, we could control and just, well, refresh and sync um, manually um, all of these statuses. But of course, we would like to do that uh, from within our pipeline. What I also want to show you um, is that uh, for this config um, repository, I included everything here in, um, in a repo as well. So actually we can um, configure these Argo um, resources with YAML as well. So we have something like a config map for all of the access. So later on, we will need an Argo um, access uh, from within Tecton, uh, which I configured here. But what is more interesting is this application. So this is an Argo application that just says, well, please take the production state for my coffee testing application and deploy it to production namespace or take the system test um, application deployed to a system test namespace. And of course, the third one that we've seen is this pipelines. So take well the pipeline that also resides within this repository. Also, there are just a few things to configure here that make it a little bit more smooth. What we can um, tell Argo is to, well, please just exclude um, something like a task run or a pipeline run. Why? Well, because otherwise it would tell in this application that if we, if we create Kubernetes resources manually or outside of Argo, for example, uh, a task run, an actual execution of the pipeline would also then show up here and it'd say, well, this is actually not defined. Of course not, because this is a running instance. And then it would uh, say, well, this is not in sync. So in order to pro, uh, in order to uh, just make sure that this doesn't happen we exclude the runs here and we could exclude or include um, some other resources that argo should manage so these are the resources here plus our production and our system taste test a uh, namespace within kubernetes and using all of these yaml resources that is just easy to apply or easy to install since all of that is managed in our GitOps uh, repository and then we can throw it against the cluster and just make sure that argo here is being set up and later on, if we had a change in the push to this config repository, then Argo would notice and we could sync and apply the changes to our Kubernetes cluster.